boom, got the badge. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. So someone suggested me to make a Meta Creator badge tutorial. Now, a Meta Creator badge is basically like when you meet a creator in a server, right? Or maybe it could be an admin, because it doesn't have to be a creator, but basically if you meet a creator or an admin in your server, you get awarded in a badge. So first, we actually need a, we need to make a badge first. So just in case you haven't, uh, make sure you publish the game. So we're just gonna call this uh, badge tutorial met the creator badge. And then let's do self explanatory. All right, create me. Let's create. If you publish this, I don't think you need it to be public. You just need to publish it. Then we can go back in our badges. So right here, we go on creations. Or it could be uh, my creation or group creation. Go on badges. Uh, and then you can actually select your game. So right now, actually, let me refresh this. this is games. Public. And then go back. Let's see if we can refresh it. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. So done. Whatever. Uh, so we're going to upload a new file. It's going to do a random one. So I'm going to put some random images here. So I don't know. This is the old Reactive Studio thing. So met the creator. Or actually it's meet recur. That's my name. And then self-explanatory. All right. Met recur. Now I can go on, uh, go on this um, bag right here. Copy ID. Uh, oops, that was supposed to happen. Uh, go on studio back. Okay. And then we can go on our scripts. So, server script service, enter the script. And start on our variables. So, local badge is the ID that we pasted. Okay, and then we can do local uh, badge service. So, we need a badge service to award a badge. Do game get service, not get children. Yes, service, bad service. Okay, now we can make a player event, a uh, player added event, which basically means whenever a player joins. So first we want to check if the player is the owner. And if it is the owner, we award everyone in the server a badge. Otherwise, if it's not the owner, um, well, we want to check um, if the server that the player is joining, uh, there is an owner in it, right? Oh, if that makes sense, I'm not sure. Uh, but I'm gonna explain anyways. So first we want to define who the owner is. So let's say the owner is recur. So that's my name. Uh, or maybe let's say you want some admins. So there's more than one admin, right? We're gonna put, a, put them in a table. So local admins equals, so let's say recur restaurant, L money, etc. Um, the difference is if you want to go with the admins, you have to loop through all the, through the table, right? Otherwise, the owner can just check if it's the name, right? And by the way, this is actually not capital. That's my name. Um, okay, we're gonna go over these two. Now you can actually do one with the group roles. Um, like the like if they have a certain group in the they have a certain role in the group. Um, but that might be for a different video. I'm not sure. <clears throat> I couldn't make another video for that. Um, but I'm going to go over these two first. So I'm going to make a player added event. So game, the player, the player, the player added connect function. All right. And then player. So this is the player that joined. This is why I put in the parameter. All right. And now we can check if the player's name is the owner's name. So if player dot name equal owner, then we want to award everyone in the badge, everyone in the badge, oh my god, everyone in the server the badge. So we're gonna do that by batch service. And actually, uh, before no, before we do that, nope, nope. Uh, let's loop, we're gonna loop through all the players before I player in pairs. Game the players get children do so. This loops up through all the players, and then I was actually I wait. I'm not sure why if that's necessary, but whatever. And then I'm gonna do badge service award badge 
<clears throat> player uh, and badge. I think that's how it is. So it's the user ID and badge. So I could play that user ID. User ID. Uh, we might actually check whether or not they have the pass. So I can just make a variable here. So local has pass. Oops. Have pass equals uh, badge service. User own badge async. Player user ID. User ID badge. If not has pass, if not has pass, then so if the player doesn't have the pass, uh, the, the pass or not has pass. So it has badge. Okay, I'm got, I'm getting confused between the um between the uh, game pass tutorial. Okay, so, so supposed to be has badge, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. Has badge just so it makes sense. That's all literally. Um, whatever. So if the player doesn't already have the badge already, of course we want to uh, award the badge. Not that not that's really necessary because it, it's not like Roblox will award a badge to someone who already has the badge because it automatically does it for yourself. Um. So yeah, so that's if the j owner joins the server. Now, what if let's say you were in a server and then the owner joins you? Wait, no, no, no. Let's say if you join a server and um, there's a owner in the server. Let's see. So else, go to this if statement. So to else, else, then we're gonna loop through all the plays again. So for I uh, play player in pairs. Well, technically, I think that would work either way. No, never mind. No, it won't work. okay. The game, the players, player add because the the owner can stay in the game, you know, for longer. For I uh, player in pairs, game the players, get players, get children, same thing. Okay. The player dot name. Hey, well, actually, I think you can't do this because this has P. So actually, let's replace this with for I P in pairs. No, that would be confusing. No, because it might. No, 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 mind. No, 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 mind. For I P. Okay, P, P, that was my mistake, okay, my bad, um, let's see here, so if P that name equals, it's supposed to be the, the player that, that we're looping through, so all the players that we're, so this is the player that we're looping, currently we're looping through, um, yeah, so I'm so dumb, okay, so owner, then, player, Award badge. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, not player. Badge service. Award badge. Player that you ID. Badge. All right, let's see. Hmm. Okay, I think this makes sense. Now, let's say if you don't, if there is like, you don't want to meet the creator, but maybe like meet an admin. So there's going to be more than one admin. Then you can meet, uh, all of them. Now I can't really test this just because, um, I I can't test this because we're technically I mean we, the owner can own the game pass so we can actually test this out. Let's see how this works. So let me check. So it looks for all the players. Uh, it's P. That user ID. P. That user ID. Player is actually so player is the player that joined. All right, so let's see. Next talent should work just because I'm the owner of the game. All right, worked. So it works because I'm I myself I'm the owner, so kind of makes sense. Um, so that's free badge. But let's say you want to make it. To meet the admins instead of meet the creator, right? All you have to do is instead of the if statement, well, you have to make a loop through the admins table. So for for I admin, and so I keep going on pairs for for I equals one number of admins. Yeah, number of admins two. So if 
if player dot name equals admins and in with the index of i so whenever it loops uh we're gonna check each individual index and we're gonna check if the player's name is either one of these indexes so either it's recur restaurant example so etc so these are all the admins then so instead of this there can be an if statement and we replace it with this if statement so let's copy everything inside here put this here um can't really test it again just because i already got the badge so i can't really do it again uh it won't award me uh but whatever so let's say this is the if statement then we can make an else if so this one we don't really need anymore uh but we can use this now let's, let me just erase all of this where's the else so else oh is this uh for i oops no it's here else you can loop through all the players and check if the owner is there. Okay, and this is kind of I'm gonna line this correctly. Alright, it looks clean. So we're gonna look through all the admins right here. Now if uh let's see. Oh actually I no, I think oh mm, did I do this wrong? I think I did this wrong, maybe. So we're gonna loop through all the player the admins. So if the player.name that join is an admin, so we're gonna award everyone in the server badge. So otherwise, if it's a normal player, you wanna check if the normal player join a server, uh if the normal player join a server with an admin in it. So think let's see uh I'm not sure if this is exactly right. It might be different. What I could do. Yeah, it might it might not be like that. Uh so instead of this right here, let's we'll make another loop actually. So actually we don't need to. I think I did this wrong. So for copy and paste this. Uh and remove this else. I know this might be confusing. I don't think. I think this all right okay whatever and then we can actually make um it actually doesn't really matter um doesn't really matter so we're gonna do a for loop set it right here instead of if uh p dot name is owner we just do the same for loop so for i equals one number of admins do uh, for i, it's not for one. Uh, do do this right? Okay. So if player, so if number of admin, let me see. If p that name, and this is actually we're looping. That's why equals admin that name. So equals admin i. Then you can award the player batch. Let's see. Okay, this looks good enough. Okay, okay. Let's see, I think this should work now. Um, we can also do local has batch two. So maybe we can just copy paste this. But uh. For the sake of testing this, we can make a new a badge. Because, I mean, why not? We're going to make a new badge. Uh, let's see. Actually, instead of this, let's just choose method creator. I don't know. Chest, boombox, arrow. Actually, let's put this here. 
met the met the creator v2 all right purchase for zero robux okay now we just paste this and set with the badge let's see okay now this should work now so first it checks if the player that joined uh we check the player uh, that joins that no the player the player's name the player that joined uh we check if they are an admin if they're if they are an admin we go through all the players in the in the game and then we, then we award them the badge um if it's if the player is not an owner or if the player is not an admin uh pretty much nothing will be done so we we'll just skip to this other for loop so we loop through all the players and if we check a player if we see so if we, we check if the player is an admin and if they are an admin we award the player uh the badge which is actually the player um uh, let's see oh i think this is wrong no it's supposed to be player user id the player that joined My bad. Uh, I think I'll probably make sure to uh, actually add this as a paste spin, just in case, because it's kind of is confusing. I don't know. I feel like it should could could be a bit confusing. Um, but yeah, let's see. All right. Let's test this out. It should work perfectly fine. It's funny. Boom! Got the badge. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. It's pretty. It's fairly simple. Um, it might be a bit confusing just because I made so many mistakes, but um, yeah, if you want more, uh, then be sure to like and subscribe, the two most important things, and if you want, join our Discord server, um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.